It does that. It makes that noise. What noise? Welcome back to the channel guys. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Today I have somebody I would like to introduce to you on the channel. Hey, no scissors. Come back. For a lot of you guys that probably don't know him because he's been gone for like a long time. 1649? A long time. 1649. <laughs> I think that's too long. Do you want to introduce yourself to the people so they know who you are? I think there's a lot of curious viewers. Filipino kid in the video all of a sudden. Where do you come from? Who is he? Go tell me your story. Tell me who you are. I'm the guy that makes him money. <laughs> oh, Emerson has a real job, so he does that. And he's been doing it more frequently because he's saving up because we're doing some cool things at 240 this winter, so it's okay. He's doing it for a good cause, but I know you missed him. What we're gonna be doing is you guys know we have like, boob extension! No. You have three boobs? Wait, what? You guys, <laughs> you guys know we have like a gauge kind of over here and then a gauge laying on the floor in the Civic and we don't have an oil pressure gauge yet so I ordered an oil pressure gauge on Amazon. That is it. It is $22.99. So it's basically 23 bucks for the oil pressure gauge. I can't do that. Can I see it? I don't know what brand it is. I gotta tell them. It's an unopened brand. Yeah, I know. It's super comforting how it says unopened on the package. As if they sell open ones. This is Dragon Garage. Don't know, never heard of them, but it was 22 bucks and it's digital. It looks just like the AFR gauge we have, so I figured why not. We're putting that in today and then we're finally gonna organize all these things in our new gauge pod holder. So we have a custom 3D printed. Why does it look backwards? Because it's you're the screen. There we go. No. <laughs> <laughs> this was custom made, it was 3D printed and it was 25 bucks, which is pretty, I would say, pretty budget. Pillar pods, you can get them budget too. But like this, I thought this was way cooler because this is like got a, the committed crew on it. It's like super custom and it's the same. Like if anything, I was going to pay the same amount for just a regular basic one on Amazon or whatever. So we just went ahead and got this. This was custom made by my brother who also 3D printed the wing and all the key tags that you guys just bought and everything. So his channel will be down below. You can watch him make this if you want on his channel, but that's what we're doing today. So I entered this video like we used to enter these videos in the shop and I thought it was kind of cool because I was watching our videos the other day and I was like we should enter our videos on a tripod. I've missed you and I need you to do my unboxing please. You know how annoying it is to unbox things by myself? I have to put the camera on a tripod and then you get the most boring shot of me just standing yeah, right, there. Right. Let's see how good your memory is. Watch this. <laughs> see? You gotta make the unboxing fun though. What video was that from? That was from the dash cam. But that's how I make my things interesting, because if not, it's just me standing there doing it by myself. At least you, I can film you being a monkey and doing it. Okay, man, they say it had not been open. But now it's open, so get the sharpie. Open. Open. <laughs> this gauge is open. So. Wow. That, that looks, is a tiny gauge, eh? That looks so cheap. So before we get any farther, let's put it in a hole and make sure we're good. Oh yeah. Oh, they actually kind of match. They even have the tinted screens, which is cool. But then this one is all black. So we got to switch out this so that they all look the same. What else does it come with? What? One tiny, tiny cord. Instructions probably? Probably and, not. And like probably Korean or something? Nope, it's oh, still English. Wow. That should be the sensor. Is it a sensor? It says right here. Pressure sensor. That is the pressure. Pressure sensor. Let me compare. Ding! Pressure sensor. Doesn't really tell you how to plug it in or what to do with it, but it is the, <laughs> that's the sensor. Oh man, look at those pipes. All the girls say, you so hot. I started running and this is how I feel. Every day, all the time, like a stick. Okay, coffee Jack break. Stands. <laughs> union job, coffee break now. Yeah, union <laughs> job. Okay, we work for five minutes. See you in two hours. <laughs> you sure you set the jacks at the same height? <laughs> nope. That's why it's lower. I know, I can see. That's why it's lower. Like, the door's like... <laughs> I don't even think the camera could see this because it's in a stupid place. Let me see. Hello, guys. You guys want to see? I can't even get the camera through here. There's not enough room. You guys are going to go on cell phone cam for a second. I'm to just put this wherever you had it. So right above the filter, you'll see that little silver line coming out. And that, yeah, that is the oil drain line. Where we need to be is directly above there. While we're trying to figure this out, there's something I wanted to ask you guys, and that was what should we do to paint the car? You guys know that we've been saying we want to do this as budget as possible, but one of the things is we want to do it relatably budget. So if we spray paint this car, like if we rattle can it, sure that's a good video, but you guys aren't going to rattle can your car. 90% of you guys won't rattle can your own car because it's a lot of work, but it's hard to make it look good. So what do you guys think? Should we plastic dip it? Should we wrap it? Or should we rattle can it? Because I'm down for anything. All of those are perfectly good budget choices. Like we buy the dip and do it ourselves. We buy the wrap and do it ourselves. We buy the paint and do it ourselves. It's all gonna cost a couple hundred bucks, but what would you guys rather see? What would be most relatable to you guys that you could actually take from the video and use? Totally up to you. You guys comment down below. 
This video decides how we go about painting this car. We got it on and what we're gonna do now is just run wire because the wire that it came with is only this long. So we're gonna run a wire from the actual pressure sensor up and into the car. And then once it's in the car, we'll just connect it to the green wire here and then it should all be good to go. Because these two are just like power and ground so they don't need to go into the engine bay, but this one does. So we're extending this one. We're gonna use the same hole we did. So I drilled this one for the boost gauge. You guys remember that? And then I did that one for the AFR. And I think we're just gonna switch the boost gauge over to the AFR one. And then we're gonna run the wire from the oil pressure up into that one as well, and then they can all just, because that's kind of like centered to the car, they can all just kind of go in and go up. So Emerson right now is feeding me a cable, or he should be feeding me a cable. Yeah, there it is. Got it. This is just some nice wire that we're gonna use to run the pressure sensor into the car. It sucks I can't show you guys, but basically this is just gonna clip onto that little prong that came off the pressure sensor, and then uh, we're gonna put some tape on it, make sure it doesn't get nasty, and then that's the hard part is over. So we got it on, we plugged the wire into it, and now we're just gonna pull the extra wire back in through this hole. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, next we gotta put this in. We gotta figure out the wiring. We gotta wire it to the wire that we just put through, and then wire power and ground to it, which is a color seeing person's job. Okay, so what is your plan here? Feed the wires up into that vent. Slide it over the vent though, like does it look okay? Okay, so let's feed the wires up yeah, into the yeah, vent. Like Dude, this is such a classic shot. The upside down Emerson. Okay, why don't we pop the top piece off and see if we can, if there's space between that we can just feed something down through and find it. Pull! Yeah, there you go. Oh, whatever, at least that was easy enough to take out. Okay, so do you see anything? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, he put his phone right there with the flash on and it shines right down and now his little eyes can see where it comes in. My little eyes, eh? <laughs> Hey, good job, mate. Good on you, that was a good one. Well, while Emerson is doing that, we're gonna take this, swap these. This white face for the gauge is meant to go with the silver um, ring. The black face for the gauge is meant to go with the black ring. But just due to the fact that the boost gauge doesn't have interchangeable rings, it only has silver, we're just gonna go silver all the way around. This doesn't look like completely stupid, but I think it'll look a lot better because now they're all gonna match. And that's like the main thing. We successfully got all the wires finally up and through here. That was a huge process, but I just didn't show you guys because it was just us trying to fetch them. What we gotta do now is probably drill something out of here. Is that what you're thinking? Cut a little section out of this. That way we can feed the wires up through here and then we'll plug in all our gauges and then we should be good. <laughs> That's literally all we needed to do. I know I completely killed it, so we can never use it again the way it was meant to be made. But now there's enough room for at least all the wires to go up and through there. I'm just doing the positive and the negative wires. I'm gonna feed all the other wires through this so that we can kind of slip it back over so that I can feed them into the gauges so that we can pull the extras down and loop them up somewhere and just kind of button everything up. Basically, every wire just has to come up and in this. <laughs> They're all fed through. I plugged in these two because they're kind of short and they wanted to suck back in. And then I'm basically just gonna take this gauge, put it in its hole, feed the wire into this and plug it in. And before we go ahead and tape this, would you like to do the honors to make sure that it at least lights up? Hey! This actually looks so cool. It's weird how like the red one's in the center and they're not side by side. But that's sick. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn this off so it stops beeping at you guys. What we're gonna do is literally just two-way tape this down. That's our best bet for now. Make sure everything works, make sure everything stays working. Is it on a good angle for you? Like, what do you think? Should we just do it flat like this? There you go, buddy. That is it. I'm just happy that they're no longer like a gauge down here, a gauge over there, like that was just stupid. I'm happy that they're all in one place, easy to see. Big thank you to Thomas for hooking me up with this thing, printing it for me, and printing it at a budget cost. I wanna show you guys now, now that everything's put back, and everything's clean, and I get my steering wheel on, what we look like finished. I don't know, some of you guys probably hate this, and that's perfectly fine. But I love this, and I think it's very cool. I put this plate back, because we don't have a boost gauge in there anymore. And then when we power up, turn on our lights, 
Everything's cleaner. Down here is clean. There used to be like a gauge here. This is just like aux cord. There used to be like the gauge in this thing, like the AFR gauge, and then just like wires everywhere. Now that's all tidied. And then like when you're looking straight ahead, I think all these gauges ended up in the perfect place. Like this is right here. You can still see the whole dash, but you can also see the tack without it like interrupting anything. Now these guys are right here, perfectly in plain sight. Like when you're driving, you don't have to move your head or anything. You can just like see them. And I think they look super sick. Unfortunately, at this point, it's like past midnight, so I'm not gonna start the car up and like, and and do anything with it because I don't want to piss everybody off. That's how they look, and I'm stoked, and I hope you guys are really excited to see this because this is a step in having the Civic like just that much farther along. So I'm also happy Emerson came over tonight. I've been filming a lot of times during the day lately since I quit my job, and that like hasn't left a lot of time for me and him to do stuff, and I really miss that. So I kind of just stopped filming in the day for at least I'm gonna try to and like edit during the day and then film at night with him because it's just more fun with him and it's more funny content for you guys, and it's just all around a happy time. So obviously I'm. So gonna spend a lot of time doing my own thing and filming by myself and stuff but it's nice to have him in here again that's what the gauges look like from the outside they're like obviously there but they're not like stupid obnoxious they're about as obnoxious as a pillar pod would be from the outside so i don't know i'm i'm just stoked on the civic right now i feel like it's coming together really nice and everything is kind of like fitting really really well remember to go down in the comments and vote how you think we should change the color of this car it's 100 percent up to you guys if you want wrap dip or spray like just rattle can the whole car totally up to you comment down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and stay committed.